Before I get started with the video, I do want to give a huge shout out to MC Cho. Link is in the description box down below. You guys want to hit these guys up. They just started their YouTube channel. As of now, they're doing FIFA content and I think Call of Duty content, but eventually they might do some NBA content as well. So definitely give them a sub. They've just started. They started two weeks ago and already have 66 subscribers, which is pretty crazy in my opinion. So give them a sub and let's get on to the all right, video. All right, all right. You all know why we're here and what we came to do this year. This is only the beginning of a very long season, but game one means just as much as game 82. Now, we have some new faces here that I really expect to make an impact for us this season. We've already seen flashes of what they can do for us, but I expect all of you to go out there and execute just like we did in camp. Ain't no more excuses. It's time to get serious. If we play our brand of basketball, there's no telling where this team can go. So get out there, get warm, and let's go win this game. Stepping out onto the floor now for his very first official NBA playing time. We're going to check out our first glimpse of professional basketball from Anthony. It's bright for him, Greg. Not just tonight and not just this season, but for years to come. And that bucket right there, folks, is the first official NBA basket from Anthony. All right, yo, it's good, everyone. Nick Smith is back. Welcome to another episode of the Carmelo Anthony My Career Series. That was my first bucket. As you guys heard just then, my first NBA game, my first NBA bucket. You know, I'm trying to fit right in with this Denver Nuggets squad. And, uh, I mean, with Moutier and me as the new rookies on the team, I think we might do some work for years to come. Maybe not this year, because, you know, the teammates we have uh, supporting us, yeah, they're not the greatest. But, we, uh, we started off this game pretty well. And, uh, when I first got into this game, I realized that, you know, I don't really need to do much. My teammates have great ball movement. They have great team chemistry as Harden just gets knocked over right there. You know, I've and, thought about uh, this, this is me my in my first NBA game. Now that it's finally here, feeling's pretty crazy. But I know it's just the beginning. I got a lot of hard work ahead of me to get to where I want to go, to be the best player and the best teammate I can be. But this is an exciting first step, no doubt. Honestly though, you guys don't even understand how excited I am to do this my career series because you know I'm not really excited about this first season because I, I feel like you play these eight games But you don't really go anywhere. You just kind of it's all kind of the same game if you know what I mean But once you go into the free agency aspect of my career It's quite fun because I mean you get to choose which team you want to go to and stuff like that and being Carmelo Anthony I think I'm going to stay in Denver for a couple years, but what is that? Can people comment down below? Because, you know, this is really the first year that I'm going to actually, you know, play my career. So I'm not really too sure um, on everything to do with my career, especially for the NBA 2K16. This is the first time I played in my career for NBA 2K16. So can you guys let me know in the comment section down below? I think there was this option in NBA 2K15 or maybe 2K14. I, I don't really remember, but... Um, or maybe I'm just imagining it, but can you guys tell me in the comment section down below? Can you go to like your owner or GM or anyone in your on your team as in staff members and ask them um, to request for a player to come to your to come to your team if that made any sense so pretty much, you know, I just want to get like I don't know, maybe uh, J.R. Smith, because J.R. Smith played for Denver. I don't know. I, just, I probably don't even want J.R. Smith. As an example, um, or maybe Dwayne Wade or Chris Bosch or LeBron, just because, you know, Melo was in that draft class with these guys. Let's say I want to request uh, one of those guys to come to my team to play for the Denver Nuggets. Is that possible? Like, can you do that? I wonder. I, I, I honestly don't know. But as you can see, I didn't really play too well in this game. And... The, the sad thing was, this game wasn't even on Hall of Fame because I forgot to change the difficulty when I just hopped into the game. But we actually took the win by two points um, up against the Houston Rockets, so that's quite funny. But then again, the Denver Nuggets did beat the Houston Rockets earlier this year, so 
yeah, there you go. I mean, I shot two for two, eight points. Moody had dropped 26 and nine, two steals and only two turnovers. This man's a beast. And do you know how sad I was? As you guys saw, I'm number 17, right? Number 17, I'm like, okay, let's change to number 15. I can't even change, and by the way, I changed the Hall of Fame right there, and I put it on eight minute quarters. I couldn't even change the number 15. I was like, what is this, man? I, I want, I'm Carmelo Anthony. I have to be number 15. Turns out this man right here, Nikola Jokic, he's number 15. So I want you guys to comment down below what number you guys want me to be. As of now, I'm number 16, okay? So, yeah, for a couple of games, you will see that I am number 16. So, uh, yeah. So hopefully you guys don't really mind that because obviously I was disappointed when I found out that Jokic was number 15. Who, who the hell? Jokic is my worst enemy now. I don't, I don't like Jokic. How come he gets number 15? That I should just get his number as soon as I came in the league. But uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of unfortunate that I can't be number 15. Unless, what is, is there a way to ask uh, one of your teammates to be traded? Because if there is... You never know. I might ask for this man Jokic to get traded and then I can wear number 15 finally. But yeah, comment down a number down below. Or um, just if you guys want me to just be number 16 because it's really close to 15. Um, then yeah, I mean, I, that's what I kind of thought. I mean, like closest number to 15 um, is either 14 or 16. But 16 looks better in my opinion. So I just went with 16. And now, I'm facing up against Anthony Davis and the New Orleans Pelicans. And this game, you're going to see, I struggle, man. I'm, you know, I'm kind of used to this, my career stuff right now. Um, I'm new to it. I think I just said I'm used to it. I meant to say I'm new to it. Um, and yeah, I'm not too great. As you can see, I'm missing a couple shots. I can't pass it. My guy's rating is so bad as well, so... It's annoying. I miss an open layup. Finally get a rebound and I get the bucket to go and one. So that's what I like to say. I'm finally starting to get used to how to play my career. It's different, man. It's controlling one player compared to a whole team when I play like my GM and, you know, my team and stuff. It's, it's a lot different, man. So, uh, yeah. Davis gets a nice dunk to go right there. And with Moutier chucking up a half-court shot, we are getting absolutely killed to start out. Uh, end of the first quarter, 28 to 15, and you know, it's time for me to step up, man, because I've just been missing a whole bunch of shots. As you can see, I'm cold right now. I've only got, I've only scored three points mid-range. I missed that, man. I'm so cold right now. I can't hit a shot. I'm shooting a terrible percentage, so uh, you're going to see that I've got to try and improve on my game t throughout this My Career series, and especially just even in this game. I just got to try and improve, so I play some good defense right there. It doesn't even matter. Tyreek Evans gets that shot to go. That was great even well, even the even 2K said it was great defense. I almost get an air one to go right there, but I miss. So I'm at the free throw line for two. And with I got Carmelo Anthony's release on point since I, you know, bought his release. I it's pretty easy. So I hit the free throws right there. I get a rebound, kick it up to Moody, and look at this man. Quick crossover all the way to the hoop. And this is what you're going to be seeing throughout the next couple years. Carmelo on the board, kicks it to Moutier, fast break opportunities for days. That's the one-two punch we got going on in Denver right now. Melo and Moutier, double M, M&M. and &M. Wow, I actually feel like some M&Ms right now. But yeah, M&M, &M, I guess that's what we're going to call ourselves, Melo and Moutier, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it's fun play with Moutier. Unfortunately though, he can't really shoot. So when I feed him like in the corner or whatever, he he normally does not hit it. I get a good pass right there to to uh, Nurkic. I think that's how you say his name, Yusuf Nurkic or Yusuf Nurkic. I don't even know, man. They all got weird. They got they all got weird names. But yeah, end of the half, 32 to 45. So. Time to step up my game. I'm shooting a terrible 20% from the field. I still have five points and four rebounds with two assists. So I'm almost on point for, almost on point? I'm almost on pace for a double-double. Unfortunately, the coach decides to sub me out. But now I'm in the post against Norris Cole and I missed the damn layup. I'm on a baby right there. And you're telling me I'm gonna miss the layup. So I have a three-point opportunity. And finally, I get a shot to go about damn time. Okay. Now I'm going to have to start producing and doing work. I get a foul and the bucket to go. Give me that and one. And so suddenly I'm starting to play a lot better, man. 52 to 68. Obviously the scoreboard doesn't show it, but my stat line is looking okay, though. 10 points and 4 rebounds with 2 assists. I just got to work 
on being able to shoot the rock a little bit more because you know not I, I don't mean shooting it more I mean getting the ball in the basket more because uh yeah I keep missing a lot of my shots I'm like should I pass it nah let me go all the way so I get my first dunk to go pretty sure that's my first dunk in the NBA as I slam that one down now I'm matched up against Anthony Davis, try to get him with a cross, I draw the foul, I didn't get the and one to go, but I I'll take that man, that was on Anthony Davis, as long as I didn't get blocked in that position, I will take that. So now I'm shooting, you know, double of what I was shooting at the half, I'm shooting 40% from the field right now, and with 2.7 seconds left in the third quarter, the Pelicans didn't get that shot in, but yeah. We are playing terrible as a team. 57-70, to 70, we got to step up our game. And this is only to the Pelicans. Imagine when we face up against, like, the Thunder or something. I start to play really well. As you can see, 17 points, and I'm hitting some mid-range shot. I get a nice assist right... Bruh, you're going to miss that open layup? Are you serious right now? But my mid-range game was really good in the last quarter. I was surprised. As you can see, that's two mid-rangers to go. 61 to 76. I pull up for another mid-range shot, and I get that to fall. So now I've got 21 points with six rebounds and two assists. I'm, I'm playing okay, man. My stat line... Well, after that turnover, it doesn't look too good because I get subbed out. But, you know, my stat line wasn't too bad towards the end of this game. Since I started off terribly, I thought I was going to, you know, have a terrible stat line. But I ended up playing all right. I went 7 for 13, so I shot over 50%. I dropped 21 and 6 with 2 assists on Hall of Fame difficulty as, you know, my second my career game ever. 16 points, 21, uh, 16 minutes, 21 points. I will take that game. I shot 50% from downtown. Moutier dropped 10 points with 4 rebounds and 4 assists, 2 steals. He only shot 5 for 17 though, so Moutier, you got to step up your game. But, uh... Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this My Career episode. If you did, don't forget to leave that like. Subscribe if you're new. And if you want to see the next My Career episode, um, let's see if we can reach 600. Yeah, 600 likes for the next My Career episode with Carmelo Anthony. It's been your morning, Smith. I asked you guys some questions in this episode, so I hope you guys can answer them in the comment section down below. I'm out. Peace.